Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll be showing you how to on Windows 11 how to connect a external monitor or display as you're seeing in the background there. Or of course it could be something else. Sorry, a um, something else like a projector. Alright, so if you have a projector or an external monitor, TV or um, projector, you can actually connect it using this. Now the first thing you want to do guys is, in this case, um, we're going to be using the HDMI, so your projector or your extra monitor, or of course your TV should have a HDMI um, cable. So you're going to find the HDMI cable. You're going to find also the HDMI port on your um, laptop. On this particular laptop at the side here, you can notice the um, HDMI right here. So we're going to connect this right now. So of course, let's check this out, guys. Guys, so once you um, connect the HDMI, the display should come on. So as you can see here, the laptop's main screen went um, blank. And of course, the display basically came on. Now, sometimes it will go smoothly as it has already connected. Or maybe you're just lucky the first time off. And of course, once you are, it should connect as seen here. However, sometimes it might be delayed. So I'm going to show you some quick ways you can actually do the switch. Now, one of the first things you can do, guys, is to go ahead and find this key here, which is the, let me zoom in, which is the F4. Um, now, of course, F4, which is function key 4, shows a laptop on another screen in the background. That means that it will control the switch. Now, of course, um, you'd have to find the function key. So you'd have to press function key along with the F4. Um, it will bring up an option either on this display or, of course, if it's not going to appear on this display, it's going to appear on this one over here. So I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to hold down um, the F function key and, of course, the F4. Check this out, guys. All right, so check it out over here. Once you hold down those keys, you'll have um, some options. You can actually move and select. The options are, you can say PC only. You can duplicate the displays, so it will appear on um, both. Extend, meaning that it will turn on both, with um, both being used side by side, so you can move between both. Or of course, you can use a second only. Mine is on second only. If I want to, I could go to PC only. And of course, the laptop will come back on. As you can see, it's down here now. So if it was the first time, maybe you wouldn't have seen this. So um, you could go ahead and just hit um, to go down to um, second screen only, which is usually the one you'll be looking for. And once you hit second screen only, it will calibrate. And of course, the second screen would um, come on. All right, so as you can see here, guys, the second screen is on. Second screen is on. And of course, if you're finished, go ahead and click. And of course, it will go away. All right, so as you can see now, we are on the secondary display. All right, another way you could customize it, if it's only shown on this one, is that you can go into display. So you can um, right click on an empty space. Once you do, you can go down to display settings. Once you're in display settings, guys, um, you can mess around right here, but you see a bunch of options and it gives you the option here as well. So you can click right here, shows multiple displays detected. Um, you can identify which display is which. This is display two. You can actually go ahead and select display two, which is the main display. Um, of course, you can also tell it which of these to do. Which is similar to the settings from before you can say show only on one which would be the main monitor down here or you can tell it to um extend these um displays or duplicate these displays so the option is yours so that's another way to use the option there all right guys i'm going to end the tutorial here so that's how to connect a projector or of course connect um any secondary monitor display um if you have any questions please ask me below as always we're probably saying bye until next time bye